Welcome to iPacky. In this video we will demonstrate how to use the MetaFields functionality in iPacky. Select MetaFields. Click the Load Products button. If many products in Shopify this can take several minutes to load. Even up to over 10 minutes in extreme cases. You can do other things in the dashboard while this loads. Here you can edit virtual products, internal product notes, barcode aliases and bin locations. This shows the stock inventory from Shopify. Here you can enter internal product notes. This can be very helpful for the pickers and packers. Makes training faster also. This will be shown in picking lists and order check whenever this product is on an order. Here you can enter barcode aliases. This is if a product has multiple barcodes. In Shopify a product can only have one barcode, and here you can enter extra barcodes. For example if you have two suppliers of the same product, and they use different barcodes. Since iPacky reads the barcode from the product in Shopify, there is no need to enter the same here. So it's for products that has two or more barcodes. Separate them with comma. Here you can enter bin locations. This is very useful to speed up the picking process since iPacky e can show where the product is stored, and also sort on bin locations to get the optimized picking path. Separate by comma. For example if the first is the main location, and the second is a refill location. Serial and batch is only available when the serial batch module is added. It will not be covered in this video. Click to save changes. iPacky will warn you if you forget to save. Filter products by selecting in the drop downs. This shows the number of products matching filters. Filter on products by typing in and press enter. This will search on product name. School and barcode aliases. Click here to add or edit virtual products. Virtual products are kits bundles. This will make sure that all items in the kit bundle are picked and checked. We really recommend using the iPacky bundles connector instead. Using the bundles connector will also update the inventory, which iPacky doesn't, and it's easier to maintain. The kit's bundles will be shown in picking lists, and in the order check. Add members to a virtual product by clicking the Add button. Type in a search filter, and press the Enter key. It will search on product name and school. The found products matching the filter is shown. Select the one you want. If necessary, change the quantity of this member in the kit bundle. You can delete a member from the kit bundle by clicking on the trash icon. This shows the number of member products in the kit bundle. If no number, then it's not a kit bundle. To change it a non-virtual product, edit it, and remove all the members. This is an example of how Metafields might look like on an order. Bin locations. Product note. Kits bundles. This is example of how meta fields can be shown on a picking list. Here the lines are sorted on bin locations for the optimized picking path. Product note. Please note that the kits bundles members are shown, but not the kit bundle itself. This is because we are picking the members, not the kit bundle. In order to show bin locations in picking lists and order check, the following actions needs to be done. 1. Turn on show bin location in iPacky dashboard settings view. You can also select to hide bin locations in order check. 2. If you want the products to be sorted on bin location for optimized picking path, go to iPacky dashboard settings layout. In sort order lines on, select bin location. This will be the default for new users.
For already existing users, each user needs to go into their user settings and select the same. Select Actions When you are entering many bin locations for the first time, we recommend that you export to Excel. Then enter the bin locations in Excel, and then import from Excel. Export to Excel is also a highly recommended way of storing a backup of your meta fields in the very unlikely event of data loss. If you have many products, and want to do a quick edit of meta fields for a single product without loading all the products, you can use Edit Meta Field. Select Edit Meta Field. Here you can edit the product note, barcode aliases and bin location. For tips and best practices, read in the help system. Thank you for watching this iPacky video. For more details, read in the help system, or watch videos when they become available on ipacky.com or on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. Start packing error-free today.